If you break a bone in half and scoop it out with a spoon, it's soft and comes out like this. What exactly is this part? Today, we're going to dissect a bone. Ta-da! We've got a cow's leg bone ready. From the outside, you can see that the bone has a long shaft called the diaphysis and ends called the epiphyses. In this case, the epiphysis is cut off, but normally, long bones have rounded ends that connect to other bones at joints. The joint surfaces are covered in cartilage, which helps prevent the bones from grinding against each other. It's a smart and efficient structure, right? Now, let's look inside the bone. If you want to see a long cut of the bone at home, try buying a bone marrow cut. For a cross-section view of a bone, a beef broth bone works well. Beef soup bones are usually sliced horizontally like this. Let's first check out the lengthwise or longitudinal cut. Here's what the inside of a split bone looks like. Inside, you'll find two main types of tissue, cancellous bone and compact bone. Cancellous bone is found near the epiphysis and looks like a loose mesh. Compact bone is in the middle area and is tightly packed. This dense compact bone makes the bone strong and less likely to break. Now, see that soft looking part in the middle? If you scoop it with a spoon, it's really soft, almost like butter. Once you scoop it all out, you'll see a hollow space in the center. That's the bone marrow cavity, where the bone marrow is. Bone marrow plays a major role in making blood. Most of our red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets are produced in the bone marrow. If you look at a horizontally sliced bone, you might see traces of blood vessels. Tiny capillaries inside the bone help deliver new blood cells from the marrow into the bloodstream. Pretty amazing, right? There are two kinds of bone marrow, red marrow and yellow marrow. In babies and children, all the marrow is red since they're making lots of blood. But as we get older, fat builds up and it gradually turns into yellow marrow. In English, cow marrow is sometimes called butter of the gods. And you can see why the yellow marrow is super fatty, almost like real butter. If you scoop out the marrow and look deep into the cavity, you might notice this thin, membrane-like layer. Is it a growth plate? Maybe it sort of looks like one, but honestly, I'm not sure what it is. If you know, tell us in the comments. And finally, I bet you're curious about how it tastes, right? I sprinkled on some salt and pepper and baked it in the air fryer. It looked delicious. I scooped up a bite and tried it. And honestly, it was way too greasy for me. I also tried mixing it into some pasta to see if that helped. It was slightly less greasy, but still not really my thing. That's it for this video. If you had fun, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science where science uncovers the mysterious.